my brothers and sisters, many of us bring to the season of Lent a sense of great solemnity as we prepare to make that spiritual journey to Golgotha with our Saviour, Jesus Christ. This year, the solemnity is even more poignant because we do not have the freedom to use our sacred buildings. For years, when asked the question about the church that we belong to, we have pointed to our buildings. This year, as we approach Good Friday and Easter Sunday, against the coronavirus backdrop and without the use of our buildings, we unavoidably look in the mirror and recognize that we ourselves are the church, the body of Christ. God's act in loving us to the point of death on the cross for his son expresses a depth of generosity that I believe we too in this solemn season are being called to reflect on. Our government has had to dig deep in showing some awareness of the financial support needed to get the country back on its feet. We too as the church if we're going to come through this crisis, we will need alongside our show of piety to dig deep, offering our resources and money to support the church. We must pray for one another and encourage each other to continue our giving to our churches wherever possible. As in the Acts of the Apostles, we're called to share the load with those who are less able to give during hard times. How we rise to this challenge will determine the shape of our diocese and our ministry when we emerge on the other side of this present crisis. Charities are also in great need as they continue to support and supplement the work of government they too have been hit hard financially. So again, during these summer days, let us see how we can play our part in giving generously of our time and resources as retired healthcare workers returning to work, as volunteers caring for the most vulnerable, giving realistically and sacrificially to make sure that charities, as well as the church, can continue to do what we do best in our communities. As we ponder on God's generosity and Jesus' pending sacrifice during the season of Passion Tide, may we also deeply reflect through prayer on our own call to mirror God's generosity in our own lives. Thank you.